Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hypnotic Lady and the company I will be working with today is Yumi's Hair. Jumping right in, I'm showing you all my little goodies that I got. Of course, they always send a nice little goodie bag with elastic bands, comb, clips, and of course, my ball caps and their 3D mink lashes. They also sent me this cute little Eunice makeup brush, retractable makeup brush, super soft. I'm gonna add that to my brush collection. And then of course, three of your ultra thin wig caps, the bag that the wig comes in with all their little links and description. And then of course the hair, this is the reddish brown 13 by four frontal wig. It is 24 inches. Love, love, love this hairline and this color, super cute. And they didn't tell me the density, but I believe it's 200. It did come with an adjustable elastic band. As you guys can see, you can adjust it if you got a big head or make it tight and right if you got a small head like me. And then of course you get your little handy dandy um, combs on the side, one in the back, and then of course your adjustable straps to make the actual cap construction fit your head like you need, okay? now. We are going to do a seamless ball cap method. Look how thin the ball caps are. Like they came in clutch with the ball caps they sent. Now here I am just putting it on, showing you what it looks like fresh out of the pack. I already have my hair molded back. Now I'm gonna take my cuticle scissors and cut out my little ear holes on both sides. Y'all know the drill. Once we get that cut, you wanna repeat the same step on the other side. You don't need a super big hole. Um, don't make it super small either because you don't want it tight on your ear to cut off like circulation or anything, but just big enough to where you can fit your ear through. Now I'm gonna take my Hold Me Down adhesive. This is the Erica J brand. And here I'm showing you guys where to properly place the adhesive. You wanna put it right in front of your hairline and trace out the outline of your hairline. As you guys can see, the glue is going right in front of my edges. It is not going on my hair. That is a key thing and on what you want to um, focus on when putting your glue down for your ball cap. Now I do see some um, YouTubers do like a free spray only no adhesive or just adhesive no free spray i use both um i think that's the most efficient way of making sure your ball cap doesn't come up but to each his own i'm showing you guys my seamless ball cap method okay so once i've did my outline i'm going to go over that with my even wonder lace spray and that will go behind the glue onto my hairline just because this is just lace spray or basically hairspray that's all it is um, it doesn't pull out my hair. Um, it doesn't thin out my edges. It comes right off with water. So, you know, I don't really have any complaints about it. Once you have that coated, this is what everything should look like. And now I'm going to sit up under my dryer for five to 10 minutes and lollygag on my phone. <laughs> While you are letting that dry, make sure that you are 100% under the dryer. You don't want to get out and then try to let it air dry because one side might not be dry. It might be sticky or when you go to cut it it'll peel back and we don't want that at all so once we're done you should feel it everything should feel dry it shouldn't feel super super hard but it should feel like a nice little mold now i'm going to take my kiss makeup powder in the shade chestnut and i'm just going to pop that on top of the ball cap to give me the illusion of scalp once you um do that you will basically look bald that will be your ball cap method that's quick and easy and then we're going to cut everything off last i do recommend you putting your makeup on first then cutting the cap i always see some people put cut the cap first and then put their makeup on and i don't know i just think that that kind of messes with the thin line that you just made of how seamless you want your cap so i always recommend doing makeup first and then the cap now I'm gonna go back in with my cuticle scissors and cut off everything. I start with my ear tabs on each side and then I cut a little slit in the middle. But to show you guys what I do with the back, I just tie those little loose ends into a knot, a little double knot like that. So it's nice and tight. And then I just cut off the excess cap in the back and that stays nice and firm for me as you guys can see. Now I'm gonna take my cuticle scissors and cut off the front, starting from one side, working my way to the other. And you don't want to pull or anything, tug, cause you might lift up the cap that you just laid down. All you need to do is just lift it straight up, like from your hair hairline so you can see and you don't cut yourself. And this is what the cap is looking like. If you have any frayed edges on the end, like how I just had right there, you wanna take your cuticle scissor and cut off that excess cap 
anything that is not laid down you want to make sure you go ahead and cut that off because when you get ready to go ahead and put your in, uh, your glue on for your install it might just look bulky and we don't want that so here's a 360 of what the wig cap is looking like the back nice and secure front nice and secure it ain't going nowhere now we're going to jump straight into the install i am going to pluck out some of this hairline because i did not need it all down on my forehead like that this unit did come pre-plucked um i did bleach the knots off camera with this being a pre-colored unit i did not have to leave the um, bleach on for super super long because the knots are already you know light as you guys can see now i am plucking out this um hair that as you can see was clearly on my forehead and i do not need once i get through with that i am going to peel my cap back make sure everything looks good oh wait before before i do that i'm going to take my makeup brush and with the same excess color that i had on for my ball cap i'm just going to pop that right onto the lace so the lace is blended in you can use makeup or lace tint whichever one you prefer i prefer to use makeup so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to take my um what is that called eyebrow razor and I cut a little slit in the middle and then starting in the middle, I work my way down to the left or right side, whichever side you decide to start on. And you just wanna go into like a little jagged edge cut and cut off your excess lace before we get ready to lay the adhesive down and actually glue the wig down. Like once you get your hairline cut out, this is what everything should look like. Pull everything up to make sure your ball cap is 100% covered. If it's given scalp, we in there. Now you want to clean off your skin with some type of baby wipe or skin um, skin cleanser. Don't use alcohol because just alcohol is kind of harsh on the skin. And as you guys can see, I had a full face of makeup. So I'm just rubbing off the makeup around my hairline for where the cap is going to be. Because I don't want any gunk or buildup, like I said, from when we put on the adhesive. Once you get that nice and clean and shiny, it'll look like, you know, your forehead is super shiny, but that's that's good. Now I'm going to take my Erica J Hold Me Down um, Lace, not Lace, Skin Guard. And this is just to protect your skin if you have sensitive skin um, from the adhesive. And then I'm going to use the Hold Me Down Sport Adhesive using, I'd say, three or four layers. And you want to spread that out nice and evenly until it dries clear work in small sections or you can go all the way around i find it better to work in small sections i start in the middle and then work my ways on the side by the time i get through with one side and come back to the other side it's already dried clear which is what you want you know the adhesive is ready to um apply another layer when it's dried clear it might have a small green tint to it that's just a part of her formula i've seen her talk about that on instagram so it's nothing to worry about and i like to use the um blow dryer in between sometimes but this adhesive dries pretty fast pretty quickly like i said if you don't put as much um because you don't need as much a nice thin layer it's gonna dry pretty quickly and you just let it air dry and then once when you get through with the final layer with the third or fourth layer however many i did i think i did four um i just hit it with a blow dryer to make sure everything's nice and tacky before we get ready to press the lace in and lay everything down you see the lace is 100% clear, and now I'm just gently laying my lace down. Don't go in and press and smash the lace into the adhesive because the glue could possibly seep through the lace and get into the hair follicles, and you don't want that. It's going to be looking a hot-ass mess. It's not going to look cute. It's not going to look seamless at all. So just gently press it in. And if you have any excess lace around your edge line that needs to be laid down, you just take a little bit with your rat tail comb, hit it with your songbird blow dryer, comb everything into place gently, and just lay it back down. And as you guys can see, it's giving scalp. All right? You do this anywhere you see any excess lace. Um, if you did a good outline for the first time, you shouldn't have to do that much. Um, I did have a little ear tab piece that was just didn't lay down at all. So I'm just putting in any um, excess extra glue that I need to cover that up. And like I said, I'm just kind of combing the lace into the adhesive while using a low heat setting on my Songbird blow dryer until everything is nice and secure. After that, if you still have a little lace that's um, just popping up, I just go in and cut it off with my scissors because I obviously didn't need it. And as you guys can see, everything's laid down nice and secure. This is what the hairline is looking like up close and personal. No filter, no gimmicks, no nothing. You see it up close, and this is what it's giving. 
scrape out the pack. Now, it is a 13 by 4 parting space. So here I am showing you guys the parting space you guys can do on the side and in the middle. Super cute. Now I'm going to take my wax stick and I'm just going to mold my hairline down. Everybody knows you got to mold that hairline down. Use a hot comb. Please use a hot comb because if you don't, it's going to look like a wig. You need it to look flat as possible. It needs to look like the roots that are coming out your natural scalp. Nobody has a helmet on their head. So make sure you are molding all of that down. Don't leave the hot comb sitting on the lace because you can risk burning yourself and burning a hole in your lace and nobody wants that either, especially if you pay all your good money for your unit, you don't wanna ruin it, okay? So just take your time moving sections with your hot comb um, to get everything nice and flat, how you like it. Once you are done with that, I am going to cut out my sideburns and just fluff out my hair because I wanted it to look really nice and big. I love the natural texture of the hair. I didn't want to wet it or anything. It was just already just given what it was supposed to give. I felt like a young Diana Ross. Now we're going to go in with my part, and this is where I was showing you guys. I was correcting that um, over red looking root. I'm just popping in some concealer, one shade lighter than my skin tone, into my part. And as you guys can see, it's giving scalp now. I'm going to take a large tooth comb. Um, don't use a fine tooth comb because you know you can risk just tangling the hair or basically just pulling the hair out. So I just took a wide tooth comb and I'm just fluffing out the hair using my fingers in between. And then I'm going to cut my sideburns to like a long medium, I say medium length. I usually do them short and I didn't gel them down or anything. And this is the finished look. I love, love, love this unit. Unice did their damn thing, okay? Look at that, that is scalp. No baby hairs, no nothing. I didn't even use the lace band to melt it down like I usually do. This is the back of the hair. Look at the curl pattern. Look at the density. This is why I said I think it was a 200 density because it looks just like, it. look how full it is. It's nice and full. So. If you guys like this unit, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think below in the comments. Um, again, this is your girl, Hypnotic Lady. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed this look so much. I like, I don't know, it was just giving. I had a full face, little beat. I ain't came through with, you know, my makeup done, looking cute in a while. Like, I was just feeling it. Look at the lace. I was obsessed with the hairline, okay? The pre plugged hairline came through with this because what? I look super snatched. You can't tell me that's not my hair, okay? And I even cracked a smile, y'all. I don't never show my teeth. And here I am just giving y'all straight glam. Again, I said I felt like Diana Ross because I am, baby. But I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I got the plug, I made the call.